What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy, Awakened Toast, here, and today, welcome back to some more Ghosts of Tabor here on the channel. And like you guys can see, there is something that has changed. And what has severely changed is the fact that we are playing on the Quest 2 version of the game. This is something I've been meaning to do and cover on the channel for quite a while because there has been a ton of comments of people saying this game is completely unplayable on the Quest 2. And then there's others that are complete stands for it saying that Ghost of Tabor runs fantastic on the Quest 2. And what I wanted to do today is just see for my own eyes and feature it on the channel of like my personal opinions of how I feel about the game and how well it actually does perform in the headset. And so far, it seems like for frame rate wise, it's like decent. It's definitely not like the best by any means. Like you can even see here, especially with like the holograms, I lose quite a bit of frame rate while I'm actually seeing that on the screen. I don't know what it is about it. Like maybe it's just like too much, like too much stress on the quest too. But anytime these holograms pop up, it definitely does put a little bit more stress on the uh, on the headset for sure but as for first impressions being on the quest 2 definitely seems a little bit like you know a little bit stressed out on the performance side but i gotta assume that's also because i'm recording i haven't actually tested this without recording yet so honestly i'm just gonna go like all in and just see how it performs with record on the headset and whatever else if you guys do end up enjoying this video i'd like to see more content made on Kosa Tabor, then be sure to smash that mother fracking thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new so you guys can stay up to date with the video content we post well, now, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's about time we go and make our way over to the safe house. Man, this is going to be so weird because I'm literally going to be loading into this without any of my gear. Like, I'm going to be starting fresh again. It's going to feel like another wipe because I'm literally not going to have anything. But now that I say that, I wonder, am I going to have to go in? Wait a minute. Did I start in a different area? I feel like usually I start on this side. Why did I start over here? Okay, maybe I'm just tripping. I, I might just be crazy, but let's go and actually open up the armory and all this good stuff because we definitely need to go and do this. So we'll go and throw the red card in and we will go and open up this bad boy as well. I think it's the white card, right? Or was it blue? I think it's white. Okay, so we got the trade room open. We got the other room open. Oh, that was definitely a little bit, a little bit intensive. To be straight up though, it doesn't look terribly different from the PC VR version. Like I would say maybe like the save things here are a little bit darker blue. There's obviously some textures that are a little bit more downscaled, but for the most part, you're getting nearly the same experience out of the Quest 2 headset that you would be, you know, within your PC build. This is solid. This is actually really impressive. I do want to go and grab a Glock 17. So we'll go and get this right off the rip. And honestly, I'm just going to run some of the weapons that it gives us right off the start. Because I just want to see how we can perform with it. See if we do decent with it. And whatever else. We'll go and grab a chest rig. Throw that bad boy on. What else do we have? Do we have a... Ooh, a backpack. Yes, sir. I will take you. Backpack, let's go. Okay, I'm curious to see how it actually feels going into our armory because usually I lag pretty bad, even on the PC version when I hop over here. And so far, it seems like it's actually pretty good. Um, let's go and grab the other key card too, just to go and open up that back room. And I really want to see how, uh, like, how all this performs on here because so far it seems to be pretty good like the trade room initially was definitely a little bit intense but for the most part the rest of this seems really really good and i guess they must have added a new thing here for like the van to be added i think that's really really cool i feel like it might be a good idea for us to go to the tabor market too because i haven't checked that out to see how it plays on the quest too but so far guys i mean the game is more than playable it definitely does not perform up to like you know, flat 60 all the time. Cause like, even like right now, it's taking a bit for it to like load everything in. But I feel like once it actually does get loaded, it's definitely gonna be a lot better. But just that initial of like hopping and loading this stuff in, it definitely is a little bit, uh, a little bit jarring with the frame rate. But like I said, on PC VR though, you rarely ever have experiences like this. Especially if you have like a pretty decent build, you're not gonna have any problems with that. Maybe I should just buy a ton of these. And we'll go and throw that on our other chest rig that we already have. Okay, so we'll go and grab these. We'll put 10 of them. Favorite that bad boy. And let's make our way back to the trade room. Also, another thing I want to mention within this video is I have no other optimization apps. I've heard that there's been some people using like a... Uh, Gosh, I can't remember what it was called, but it basically is like a quest optimizer, which allows you to like, you know, get your frame rate a lot better in a lot of VR games, which I don't know if that's even applicable or applicable to Ghost of Tabor, but if it is, I would love to, uh, love to go and check that out. I saw a YouTube video about someone talking about it, but I couldn't remember if it's actually available for the, uh, for Ghost of Tabor or not. 
But we got these all added. Let's go and grab some other magazines, which should be right on the bottom. Glock 17 magazine. Perfect. I don't know how many mags we got, but... Okay, let's throw one in. Let's go to another one. I'm curious to see how this recording turns out, too, because I have it set to uh, 60 FPS, so I'm definitely going to have, you know, a lot more stress being on the headset, too. So that's another thing to, you know, like, put into perspective as well, is the fact I'm not just playing this game as it's standalone. I'm playing this with recording on top of it in a mobile chipset. So this is all running on something that would be, like, within your Android phone. And the fact that we're able to play this game and record it in 60 frames per second with a higher resolution... I mean, you're getting what you asked for, man. This is really freaking impressive with how well it's performing. I don't expect it to be perfect, obviously, but I just want to see if we can at least play the game. So without further ado, let's uh, let's go and hop into some missile silo and just see if we can do some stuff. We got our Glock 17, so we're going to feel pretty much a natural to this. And it sounds like they also added a, uh, a new sound effect for the watch, which is really weird. I, I don't know why that was... Uh... I, I don't know why that was on their list to go and get that added, but hey, you do your thing, I guess. I want to go to the missile silo with the van. That'd be crazy, dude. Okay, it definitely looks like the loading screen is a little bit different too. Kind of like a little bit more like opaque. I don't know how to explain it, but the graphics definitely look a little bit more dumbed down just to fit for the quest too. But like I said, so far it seems to be pretty playable. I mean, from what, like, what other people were saying, saying it was, like, impossible to play games or crashing all the time, so far I have not experienced any crashes. So, we'll see how it does. The biggest thing is, is I want to see how this performs actually within the raid, man. I'm definitely getting some frame cuts, no doubt about it, but it's to be expected. And it seems like they must have patched up the, uh, the climbing mechanics. Okay, there is someone running right now. Oh, you can't fling yourself up anymore. Oh my god, dude. This is gonna be a lot different, ladies and gentlemen. I am not ready for this. Oh, and my sensitivity is way too low. I didn't realize how low I had this. Oh my god. And I'm hopping into a freaking missile seller raid? You gotta be kidding me. Okay, let's wait for this guy to push. Oh my god. I don't even want to push that right now, dude. Oh... I might just run across and try to get that other fight. Ooh, wait a minute. This might be a dude. I think this is a dude. Oh, definitely lost some frames there. Is there any other guys behind us? I don't think so. Sounds like other footsteps. Am I tripping? I could have swore I heard other footsteps. I'm going to run across. Let's take the risk, man. We're taking the risk. We'll see if we can find those other players. This is going to be super risky, man. Because, bro, even, like, the slightest choppiness that you get in the headset can be a drastic change of your gunfights here. And I am feeling it for sure. It's definitely not, like, horrible, but it's definitely not amazing either by any means. It's playable. 100% playable, but, I mean, if I have the option to play on PC compared to Quest 2... I'm, I'm playing PC any day. No doubt in my mind I'm doing that. Someone's opening Squeaky? Question mark? Who is over by Squeaky, my friend? Let's just hope that no one's actually waiting at Garage, though. Let's chase it. Why not? Let's see what we can do, ladies and gentlemen. Is that a bot? Please tell me that's AI. I'm not ready for a player challenge yet. Yeah, I know that guy's at squeaky. Okay, that's AI. I'm taking the risk. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I know he's here. I'm probably going to get completely reamed, to be, like, completely frank, but... Grab this bad boy. Ooh, it feels like they got grabbing fixed. At least a little bit better than what it was. Definitely heard some more shots down below, so I'm going to go and check that out. Okay, we jump across. Ooh, I did not mean to press that. Oopsies. Okay, let's see. We should be fully healed up now. At least close to. I think I heard the other guy literally down below here. So I want to try to wait this out and see if we could potentially get another push. But I also don't know if that squeaky guy's there too. Because that would be sketchy. Let's just hope that no one uh, catches us off guard. I know they're actually down here though. I heard them fighting. I'm just wondering where he's at. I really don't want to just like jump in and like lose the freaking loot that we already have. 
I just want to at least get like one player kill and just see how it like how it plays server side because so far we played with the AIs and there's definitely some frame drop with shots but I wonder how that's going to be competing with another player actually hitting you too you know I'm really curious I'll give it a shot though let's see we're probably going to just go straight to our death there we go and he's dead dear god gotta go do I have a helmet please no helmets you gotta be joking you gotta be joshing me Okay, must be above. Let's see if we can peek this man. Is he shooting from the top? I can't tell, man. Oh, yep, he's definitely on the tippy top. He's definitely on the tippy top. I'm gonna wait for him to waste all of his ammo, then I'll push up. Okay, going in. Oh, you... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Definitely was lagging a lot there, though. I felt that. Oh, my God. It's crazy how much different it actually looks on the Quest 2, though. Like, I mean, I would say graphically-wise, like, it's not terribly much different, like, textures. I would just say, like, the saturation. Like, it feels a lot more, like, colored in a way. Like, my arms are a lot more, like, pink or orange compared to the actual skin tones that you have on, like, the PC. But could just be me. Then we're going to be over here. I am terrified, my man. Oh my gosh, my aim is so much worse on Quest 2, though. Holy crap. It is so bad. Okay, well, let's see if we got anything in here. Nope. There we go. Okay, thank you. I was just really struggling initially. Okay, what else do we got? Just another 22 LR pistol. Perfect. We definitely need more heals, though, because we are looking low as can be, guys. This is not good. Not good at all. I'm going to check and see if I can maybe find a, ooh, another Glock. Oh, whoa! The backpack's, like, pink! Okay. Interesting. <laughs> I guess that's a different color. Ooh, and they got some more patch or, like, pouch sound effects. Interesting. Interesting. I didn't think there was any problem with how it was before, but... At least they added it. That's cool. Okay, I can literally not see anything in these boxes, though. Like, at least on PC, I can at least see them. In this box... Oh, I guess maybe there is just nothing. Okay, maybe I'm just crazy. How much do we got left in this mag, though? Because isn't it supposed to vibrate? Didn't they say it was supposed to, like, vibrate or something? To check your mags? That's hoping. Let's see. There might be another guy here. I heard someone running. I definitely need those heals. Shoot, bro. I kind of want to play for extraction here. I don't know. Nope, definitely Fenix. Okay, we're chilling. We are A-OK, -okay, my friend. I'm just going to go and run over and see if I can maybe grab these heals. Because I definitely need them. Okay. Hello. Thank you. Oh, actually, you just went right in my arm. Perfect. You even have to go and grab it out of the thing. MP5. Okay, we'll throw you on here. Okay. We are good to go. Want to see if we can actually get into player engagement, bro. I've been waiting. I've been waiting, man. I don't want to just first the Phoenix. I want to check them all out. But, you know what? Maybe we could go back to that main floor. Because I feel like they might be by main squeaky. There we go. Another one down. And let's see. Perfect. Okay, don't see anyone over here yet. Let's go and throw this back into my inventory. And let's check the lockers. Okay, lockers are pitch dark. I cannot see. At least on PC. That is something I can somewhat see. But in this, bro, no shot. It is definitely, like, it's just not going to work. Someone's that other squeaky. Okay. I heard someone that other squeaky. Are we here to have fun and play? Please pay, or play fairly. That's all I ask. I'm on the quest too. I'm rocking like, I want to say it's been like a consistent 40. Like other than the frame stutters I've been getting, it's been like 40 FPS for the most part. Like it's been pretty damn good. Like I am surprised this is running on a mobile chipset. Like that blows my mind. And we know he went to squeaky, but he might have just came out of it.
I really hope he's not on right side, because otherwise I'm screwed. I could just wait here for him to peek. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Because we know he's in squeaky. Unless he just ran away from it. That could be it too. There we go! We got a player kill, baby! Let's get her done! Is there another guy there, though? He might have been trying to bait for a friend or something. Nope, he's up above. He's up above! Okay, I'm running back down. Screw it. I'm gonna try to get more heals. I knew he was baiting! I was like, that just seems like a setup. 100% felt like a setup. And indeed it was. I could just go for extraction and say screw the butt or screw the other guy. <laughs> Let's do it, why not? Run, run as fast as you can. I gotta go and get to the evac. <laughs> I'm not challenging that, dude. Screw that. I got like zero HP. Let's just go while we can. I wanna take this guy with me. Okay, you're coming with me. Let's go. Time for an evac, baby. <laughs> yes, that was actually really solid. Okay, so for player engagements? That was not half bad. I am surprised. Like, I thought it was going to be a lot worse. Like, generally speaking, I thought it would be really hard to, like, play through a match of Ghost of Tabor. But, dude, it feels good. It, there, there's some frame drop here and there. Like, don't get me wrong. It's not perfect by any means. And the more that they can really solidify, like, the frame rate within this game to make it so people don't get motion sick from, like, the jarring frames or, like, frame stutters or anything like that, I think the better. But with how the game is at the moment, this is seriously incredible. The fact that this is even running on the Quest 2, this is nuts. And I, I could definitely overlook the issues of it having, like, frame stutters here and there, especially if this is, like, what you have in your setup. Like, you don't need a $1,500 to $3,000 computer to run this. This is on your, like, $300 Quest or $400 Quest since they updated their price and stuff. But you get what I mean? Like, the fact this is running on this mobile chipset, I'm impressed, man. Like, the Ghost of the Board team, you guys have done something. You guys have done something crazy here. Um, do I have any heals? Because I definitely need some. Yes. Please, can I just pop this in my arm? This is actually heal me. Please. Yes. Get me out of that heartbeat, bro. I do not need it anymore. Bro, we had a pretty good first raid, though. We got a player kill. I knew there was another dude. I thought he was going to be hiding inside of there, but he must have been camping up top on, like, the little, uh, the little grates, and he was probably peeking through. I've seen that strategy used before. I've definitely seen it before, but I did not expect someone to be using it then. Okay, let's see. So we got an extra Glock, which is awesome. You can't complain about that. So let's go and throw this little Glocky poo right on the wall. Dude, seems like mounting's really nice. So that's solid. That's solid. <gasps> you know what we could do? We could totally go in with the gold AK just to meme it. But I also don't want to get rid of it and just give it to someone. Because <laughs> I'd be like, we got it. We can toast golden AK. <laughs> I'd be like, no, it's on my quest one. Okay, so we got our Glock. I do want to get more ammo. So I'm gonna go back to the Tabor Markets and let's go and run over to Mr. Spectre and see what he has to offer for some freaking magazines. I should have enough money to go and buy them. But Tabor Market, definitely the first time loading in was really, really stressful, really, really jarring on the headset. I get a little bit of ghosting going left and right, like basically where like artificial frames must be like trying to fit in, which is a little bit weird. And definitely for some people, if they're having like really intense movements, they're, they're going to be seeing that in their headset. And that's definitely a huge indicator of motion sickness or a huge influence to motion sickness. So just keep that in mind if you guys are like light on the stomach. But again, this is only with recording typically like when i loaded this up without a recording it seemed to be pretty solid like there was obviously still some frame jumps here and there but like the, especially the left to right moving i had no issues with ghosting before i think it's literally just because i put more stress on the headset while uh while recording but let's go and grab a magazine we'll go over to dun, 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 handguns we could actually get some mp5 mags too <gasps> no wait we can't even buy them can we Oh, because our vendors are going to be a lower level. Oh, I did not think of that. Oh, that is super awkward. Dang, dude. So we might not even be able to buy more. Oh, shoot. I should have went and grabbed some of the quests to go and level them up. Well, we might just have to roll with what we got, I guess. I mean, that's that's the best that we can do. 
I mean, seriously, th there's literally nothing else that we can do since our, our vendors aren't leveled up. I do want to try another match, though, and see if, uh, see if we can get some more kills. So now that we got that all stocked up and ready to go, let's go and queue up for another mission. I'm actually tempted to go and try the island of Tabor. I don't think I'm going to last very long on there, but I just want to see how it performs on the map, considering, like, the, the amount of scale that the island of Tabor has. I want to see how it runs on the quest too. I'm sure I'm going to be struggling. I have no doubt in my mind it's probably going to be a little bit more intense than the missile silo map, but if they did pretty good for like the artifacting and spawning stuff in at like closer distances compared to having it all rendered in, I think we should be okay. And like for the resolution wise, especially on the quest two, the game doesn't seem too visually demanding in terms of like their actual textures that they're using. So, and if it is downscaled, I mean, it's, it's hard for me to even tell because once you're in the game, man, you're already like so immersed into it. So it, it's hard to even tell if it is looking a lot lower than the PC version. Okay. It is taking a long time to load though. Oh my God. This might be a mistake boys. Okay, this is going to be the true test. Can we load the island of Tabor without crashing? Because I've heard a lot of people were having issues with crashes, but I haven't seen a crash yet. I feel like this is probably going to be the closest thing to potentially getting a crash while waiting for Ghost of Tabor to load the island of Tabor. That is probably the only thing I can imagine that's going to crash this game. Or like something if like 20 AI spawned on you, like for some random sporadic thing. That could possibly be something, but it sounds like everything's starting to spawn in. So we should be good. Ooh, is someone sniping? Oh god, okay. I definitely felt that frame right there. It's probably just loading the map for the first time. Oh my gosh, okay. Yeah, you definitely can feel it on Island of Tabor. The trees look good though. Look really, really nice. But I'm definitely getting that that ghosting effect that I was telling you guys about. Like where you look and you can kind of see like stuff duplicating. I am getting that looking left to right. But this could just be because I'm recording. Like, honestly, it, it certainly could be just that factor alone. But Missile Silo was perfect. This one, I definitely feel a little bit more, uh... It's a lot more intense. I'm not going to even be able to kill someone because how much the ghosting effect's showing. But quality looks nice. I mean, without recording, man, I'm sure it'd be running smooth. I think it's just because of the fact that I'm actually pushing this at, like, 60 FPS. Or at least it's trying to push out 60 FPS. And that's probably what's going to be making the quest really huff and puff of it, like as it's trying to get through here. But if we can at least get one kill with this frame rate, I just want to see if we can do it. I highly doubt it. We're probably going to get killed by a player. But I just want to see. Because I am... Oh, I'm feeling it. I am feeling it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. This is... uh, This is tough. I knew Island of Tabor would be stressful. Like, I knew that going in. I think that might be a guy. Ooh? Hello? It is dark as heck. Is he inside of here? I don't think he is. It's pitch dark in these barracks, though. I'm gonna creep across. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna assume he's probably at these other, uh, at this other spot here. I've actually never been to these barracks. So this is completely new to me. Let's see if we can actually get a kill, man. I'm gonna be legging my tail off. Ouchies. I gotta go. Gotta go. I'm gonna get lit up, dude. I am not ready for this. Die! Thank you. Okay, we gotta go to our backpack. Do I even have my backpack? I do. Yes, indeed. Okay. Let's go and throw you in. Oh, shoot. Do I have to pull this back? I probably do. Okay. Where's my mag? Okay. Textures are definitely lower in this one. I can, like, see it, especially on the ground. Like, it's very apparent, especially inside of these barracks. Like, this ground texture definitely looks a little bit lowered for the sake of the quest, too. Which is understandable. 100% understandable. This is so sketchy because I'm playing at like maybe 10% of what I normally can play at. So <laughs> this is a, a huge downscale, no doubt, going to the quest you stand alone. But regardless, I am really, really impressed with how it is so far. This is really I'm surprising. Die already. Jeez Louise. Is there another guy there? I'm so scared. 
Okay, let's see. Can we throw this in? Nice. We must have been emptying our other mag then if it wasn't letting us load it before. And also, I do not have any stims. So this is going to suck. This is going to suck major cojones. I'm probably just going to end up dying to a player here. No doubt about it. Can we go through here? Yes, we can. Nice. <gasps> Wait, is this a... Oh, I thought it was a big lootable. I guess we got a gun lootable, though. Might as well go and check this. See what we got. A whole lot of nothing. A whole lot of nothing, my friend. Okay, I definitely need to find some heals, though. I am super weak. Shit. No! Please. I'm probably gonna die here. To be completely real, this is probably where we die. I'm gonna go up to the top of the... Ah, uh, no. They probably don't have any heals up there, either. Let me just find one spoon before we go. Please. Please, young Saya. Could I just find one spoon? That's all I ask. Or maybe some NRS at the top of the, uh, at the top of this thing. This would be nice. Find some nerds. I would love to find some nerds. Bro, there, there's another player here, too. I know there was. I heard him. Which is terrifying, because he's probably gonna, like, easily kill me. Oh, door is freaking flung open. Is there any heals? I have a chocolate bar. Haha. <laughs> Wait, we gotta go and open that bad boy up. Let's open this up in 4K. Eat our num nums. Nice. And I just dropped freaking extra mag. Oopsies. Did not mean to do that. How's our mag feeling? Okay, this one's about half full. So I want to say about 10 shots. Maybe 8 shots to be safe. Holy, this area is sick though. I haven't even had a chance to check this out on the PC version, so this is all new to me, man. This is cool. Just wish we could have a little bit better frame rate, though, because I'm definitely feeling like I'm chugging. Like, it, it's definitely chugging, but I think that's severely due to the fact I am recording. I, I want to reiterate that as many times in this video. I, I feel like if you're playing just, you know, standalone, no recording, just gameplay, I'm sure you're not going to have many issues. Like, I, I want to say it seems like you'd be performing okay. But as for the moment, if you're trying to record like content, especially if you're trying to do like some YouTube stuff for Ghost of Tabor and all you have is a quest to, just know um, if you are going to be using side quests to go and like boost up your quality a little bit, you are going to be struggling a little bit more. And that ghosting effect is severe. Like, I don't know if you guys can even see it in the recording, but I, I can feel it and it's it's definitely jarring. Um, we'll go and throw a chocolate bar here. All right. But... For this map, man, for it to be running like it is right now, this is, this is nuts. Like, seriously nuts. Ooh, we got some nails. Got some more nails. There's that player. I see him. All right, he just ran down below, except I have no heals, so I'm probably just going to end up dying here, but screw it. Let's just, let's just go. Am I going to die if I fall off of this? Don't tell me I'll die. I'm probably gonna end up dying here. Oh, there we go! Dude, how did we manage to get that kill there? We are chugging so much and we still managed to get that kill with the MP5. <laughs> nice! What did he have on him? You're mine. Come here. Give me your AK-47 and I'm gonna run to evac with you. You're coming with me, my friend. Wait, does he have a gun on him? He's got an MP40 just chilling on him. I'm gonna use him as a body vest. This will be great. This will work out just fine. You're coming to the evac. You're coming with me. Oh my god. That's not good. Go! Oh, he got me. <laughs> oh man. I was just trying to have some fun. That's all I was trying to do. But guys... I think that's going to be it for Ghost of Tabor here on the Quest 2. If you guys did end up enjoying this video and would like to see more content made on Ghost of Tabor, then be sure to smash that motherfucking thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new so you guys can stay up to date with all of your content we post. And as for the Quest 2 version of Ghost of Tabor, I... I don't know how I necessarily feel about it. Like, it definitely needs a bit more performance improvement, but for the most part, it's 100% playable. I don't know where people were getting at, at the fact, like, it's just crashing all the time, all these, like, overbearing issues. Like, I have not crashed once, and I have been playing straight with recording on top of this for, like, an hour and a half, and it's been solid. Like, seriously, the frame drops here and there, and the little bit of ghosting, like, with recording, like, that stuff is just because solely I'm recording. If you're playing this standalone, you're not messing with side quests, you're not doing any of that, you're just playing the game. I'm sure it'll be performing 
at least like 40 frames. You're gonna have some frame stutters here and there. It's give or take, it's gonna happen. I mean, it's literally running an entire island map or even like these storage areas on a mobile phone headset, dude. Like this is, this is seriously insane to even see. But anyways, guys, that's be it for me. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, keep it toasty, my friends. Laters. I got some shells for you, boy. Oh, it's in his eye. Oh, I fixed it. I would have no. died. Well, right no, no. here. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Armageddon. Oh, yeah. yeah. Why in the heck do you not have clothes? You took my banana, and now you must suffer the consequences.